Hey loves, it's your girl Gigi back again with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. If you guys are OGs, welcome back. If you guys are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you guys hit the bell, hit the bell, don't forget the bell, to get notified every time I post. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up, that just lets me know that you guys are loving my content. But yeah, I'm so excited for today's tutorial. You guys could see the title of it. I, I am gonna be reviewing the Makeup by Mario's collection palette. Well, I just got like two things, four things, four things. So I just got these things right here and I'm so excited to let you guys see what's inside. As always, I'll let you guys see a little sneak peek of the swatches. And that's it, that's it, that's it, period. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. All right, so let's start off uh, with this matte primer. I think it's all mattes, yeah. So I'm going in with the shade, hold on, let me check. All right, so I had to go get the palette. <laughs> so the, the palette's numbered one through 12. So I'm taking the shade number nine and it's just all over the lid. This is the only shade I'm taking with the 507 by Morphe. And I'm taking the metals palette, which I wish I did get the manipulator, but it's okay. Because yeah, I can't see the full potential of it, you know what I mean? So taking Citrine just to like do like an eye topper and I think it made it look really, really pretty. Alright love, so this is the final look. This is how it looks. I think it came out super, super cute. I love the goldy vibes and the smoky eye. Um, yeah, I, I, think, I think it looks cute. So. so for the, what is it called? This is the Master Metals. This is what it looks like right here. So I did not get the manipulator, the little drops and stuff. So I can't see like the full potential of this palette, but I did like how it looks. It did perform really pretty. Um, I'll do some like swatches and let's see. Let's see. So that's that one, the one I put on my lids. So I know that they're like way more um, intense, but since I don't have the manipulator, like I can't make it into like metal metals, but I do have like this other thing, but I'll have to try it and test it out to see first doing it in order, but this is how that looks. I think this palette is worth it. Honestly, it's pretty. This color is pretty. Yeah, like this is this one. So this is this one. I think I kind of mixed it. Did I? No. Super, super pretty, love that. So I did end up getting that palette and then I got the Master Max, which I, I was like, do I need this palette? It's just like a basic palette, but you know, it's like Mario and I'm like, yeah, I need it. <laughs> so I'm gonna switch the first one. Um, I don't know the names, hold on. Oh, they're one through 12. So number one, and that's that one. Number two. Number three, number four. So he said like, these are like, he got inspired like with his skin tones. Like, you know, so that's literally my shade, my color. Number five is just a deeper shade of that one. Six. So number nine, honestly, like, it's like a burgundy shade color right here. But it ended up looking like that, which I was kind of pretty confused. I'll put it up here. Because on the pan, it looks like this. But then it looks like this once I blended it out. And kind of does not look the same, right? Like, yeah. Ten is that one. Eleven. This is eleven. Then number 12, I think this is like a black shade, I want to say, but not all the way. Worst, worst swatch ever, I know, sorry. But these are the shades. So, like, for this palette, I give it like a, uh, like a 8 out of 10, because they're really pretty shades. Um, but it's like more for somebody that's going to do like an everyday look. I think it's perfect for somebody like that. Um, for me, I like, I like doing like a lot of colorful looks, so I probably wouldn't reach for this palette like too often. Uh, probably like maybe like for an everyday, uh, eyeshadow look, but you can do a bunch of looks with this, like very, you could deepen it up. You can do a simple, simple, simple look, 
but yeah i do like the palette i do like the palette the quality of it is very nice i love that it does have a mirror on both of the palettes so another thing that I got was these two Master Crystal Reflector Highlighter. But they're like toppers, you know, like because they are very glittery. Let me see. So I got it in the shade uh, Citrin, Citrin, and then Bronzette, Bronzette. <laughs> so these are the two shades. I actually, I actually really love it. I did put a uh, Citrin on the like the ball of my eye and it looks really pretty i like it kind of like livened it up and made it like more metallic -y look and um let me see i'm gonna swatch citrine so it's very glittery like it's very like the consistency of it let me see if you can see like right here i can't even see it huh i don't really swatch like good they're like glittery they're like glittery i don't know if you can see but they're right there and let me swatch bronzette, which I think this one's my favorite bronzette. I've used it a couple times, and I have it in my inner corners. Um, they're very soft, like the the feel for feel of them. They're very soft, but as you can see, that's how they look. I think the most thing that I'm obsessed with that I got in my purchase was it's this airbrush flawless setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. Like you guys need to run out and go get it because this setting spray. Oh, girl. Let me try it on this. It says, like, it's budge-proof. Like, it's not going to Look at this. It's not even budging. Well, a little bit? No, not even that much. Look. I'm doing it hard. It's so good. You guys I, need it. I wore it the other day, and I even had my mask on. We were out, and it did not ruin my makeup. And I was, like, shook. Like, I was, like, what the heck? Like, this is, like, sick hairspray, you know, for your face. I did end up getting the travel size, but I, for sure, I'm going to purchase it again in the bigger. It is pricey, you know, Charlotte Tilbury. It's a very nice setting spray, and I totally, totally recommend this setting spray. It's so good. So that concludes my tutorial. I am obsessed. I, I do really love these palettes. I do recommend them if you want to try them out. I love the packaging. Very sleek. I like that it's um, plastic. It's like a... Yeah, it's like it's plastic, so it, it's gonna get dirty, but you can wipe it off really quick. I hate when packaging is like so easy to dirty, like it's just gonna be ugly, you know? It's like it's already messed up. So I love that. I love that he did that. Um, the the mats are very pretty. They're very nice. They're very nice, as you can see. Very pretty. Very wearable shades. Very everyday type of look. You could spice it up and darken it, smoke it out. Gorgeous. The metals are really nice. Um, I can't say more about them because I don't have that manipulator. So I don't really know like its full potential. So sorry about that. So I'm gonna let, let you guys go right here. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell to get notified every time I post and give me a thumbs up. That just lets me know that you guys are loving my content. Um, but yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys.